Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Galano, Medical Director of the Cardiac Cath Lab here at UT Southwestern Clements University Hospital. I want to welcome you uh, on a demonstration of what it looks like to have a cardiac cath. The Cardiac Cath Labs are located on the third floor of the Clements University Hospital, adjacent to the rest of our cardiovascular service care, which makes it really easy for your doctors to work together as a team. First of all, I'd like to introduce you to my team here uh, today in the cath lab. Josie is one of our cardiac cath techs. He's going to assist me during the procedure with the x-ray camera, which we'll talk about a little bit more in a second, as well as the rest of the equipment here on the table. We've got Christine, our cath nurse, who is going to monitor our patients, but also provide medications such as sedation to help with your comfort during the procedure as well as any additional medications needed for the procedure itself. And finally, we have Steven in the control room. He also is going to be monitoring your vital signs during the procedure, but also assisting us with state-of-the-art imaging technology from the adjacent room. So let's talk about the procedure itself. Um, the procedure is performed with an x-ray machine. Josie's gonna show us how this works. The camera is gonna rotate in several different angles over the patient during the procedure providing us images of the heart in multiple different dimensions. Here's our cath lab table. It can also move in multiple directions. Christine is gonna administer medications from a IV pump over there on the side. And you'll notice our uh, nice flat screen TV. We have multiple different imaging modalities during the procedure. The x-ray itself here on the largest panel. We also oftentimes use an ultrasound machine, which is actually placed within the coronary arteries of the patient themselves for additional data. And finally, you can see our continuous vital signs of our uh, patient here with us today. So after we get you in the cath lab, the procedure starts by obtaining access in one of your arteries, typically either the radial artery near your wrist or the femoral artery, which is near your groin. Um, Christine is going to go ahead and administer the sedation and then your physician will use a local anesthetic to numb up the area. Once the area is nice and numb, we go ahead and place a flexible catheter into the artery which, which allows us to access the vessel for the remainder of the procedure. Then Josie is going to assist me with one of the catheters. We place this long flexible catheter into the patient thread it up to the heart using the x-ray as guidance. And then once near the coronary arteries, go ahead and inject a contrast uh, medium to be able to visualize the coronaries uh, with the x-ray, as you can see here on the screen, multiple different types of angiograms that we perform. If there is a blocked coronary artery, then typically during the same procedure, we'll go ahead and perform an angioplasty and a stent. Angioplasty is where we take a balloon and open the artery up and we place a stent, which is like a scaffolding that keeps the artery open. Once the procedure is over, all of our equipment is removed, including the flexible catheter at the access site. No stitches are required. The patient only gets a Band-Aid after the procedure. From the cath lab, we'll transfer you back to the recovery area, where it will be monitored for a couple of hours, and then ultimately discharged with instructions and any new medications that you may require based on the results of your test. On behalf of the rest of our cath lab staff with over 200 years of experience, we very much enjoy taking care of almost 3,000 patients a year um, and um, look forward to providing excellent care for each patient that comes to the cath lab.